Today we're going to create a color wheel in Photoshop. So first we need to create a new document and we're going to rename it last name, the unit, and the project description. We want it to be 5 by 5 inches. If it's not on inches you can change that. And you want it to be 300 resolution and click OK. The first thing you need to do is to set up your rulers and create some guides. You should have rulers on the top and the side of your screen. If you do not, you can do Command R or find it in your view menu. To create a guide, you need to click and drag from your ruler onto your document. What I want you to do is to create guides in the middle of your page so you're going to drag out to two and a half and I want you to create one that is a half inch from the top of your document. Since we're going to be creating a color wheel we're going to create a 12 sided shape so here's your shape tool and you have a few options here we're going to choose the polygon tool that way we can control how many sides appear in your option menu. You want it to have 12 sides. You want it to have one point. This is your stroke and a black stroke. And you do not want it to have a fill. That's what the red line means. Place your cursor directly in the middle of your document. Click and drag. Clicking and dragging will take it out from the middle for this specific shape and you want to leave it so that you've got a point at the top of your document and you'll notice that it kept all the settings that I had up here one point and no fill. What we want to do now is to create the different shapes of color and you can choose from several different shapes here you can make a circle or a rectangle you can even choose a custom shape if you choose a custom shape, choose one that is solid. So don't choose the grass or the light bulb. You can choose from any of these more solid shapes. I'm going to go ahead and choose this blob here. Double click it. And you might want to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to create a shape here at the top of the document. So I'm going to click and drag out from that point. However, this shape works differently. It does not pull out from the center of the point that I dragged from. So I'll undo that with Command Z. And I'm going to click and drag and hold down Alt. I want it to be pretty large. And there you are. So we're going to zoom out now and I want to create shapes all the way around the edge but I'm going to start with just my primary colors. So I'll need one here, I'll need one here, and I'll need one here because your primaries are going to go in this triangle here. So I'm going to copy this layer. I can do this in several different ways but I'm going to hold down Alt click and drag up and when you see this gray line you know that you're ready so I'm going to click and drag and let go and again I'm holding down alt click and drag and there you go so to move these shapes to be directly on each third I'm going to click on the shape and enter transform mode I do this by holding down command T Transform mode allows you to do several different things. You can resize, of course. It will also allow you to warp or change the perspective and distort it and a few other things. But what I want to look at is the rotate. So now I'm rotating this. It's rotating from the point in the middle. Here is your point. So let me undo that. If I were to move that point, say, to the side and rotate it, it would rotate it from wherever that point is. So since this is the center, it's rotating around that center. And I'm going to actually move that 
into the middle of our polygon and now when I rotate it it will follow the circle all the way around and if I hold down shift I will be able to make it snap to those different points so I want it to go to 120 degrees and that's perfect and I'll do the same thing with the other one now you might notice that if you're in transform mode you can't change layers you have to exit transform mode and in order to do that I'm going to press enter so now I'll do the same thing with my other shape command T and move my center point and rotate it holding down shift down to this edge. 